Alright, a uh, quick video on, I figured out why plants always do better in this tank. Uh, that plant's not doing so well, but two things that I have to say. So one, some plants like swords, dwarf sage, uh, hair grass, um, what else, whatever. Oh, and Anubias, they're all grown, or most of them are all grown above water, which means their roots are in water, but their leaves are above them, which means they get more CO2, but it's a different subject. Uh, uh, another, th so, that's why, if, if your plants die back, that means they're shedding the leaves that were grown above water, or in a different water chemistry, like, I moved some dwarf sag in here from the, from the 29 gal, it, all of its leaves, all of its big leaves died, but if you can see, some green sprouts in the middle, which is good. All of those, that plant's leaves died because it was originally a uh, plantling in that tank, but uh, all of its leaves are growing back now. So that's a, something to think about. Make sure you don't throw away your plants unless it's been like a year and they haven't grown back. Cause that, that means they're dead. So, uh, planted some water sprite from above there because it was going too far above the water. Uh, she has gotten a lot bigger since the last 10 gallon update. Female Agassi's doing fine. I put the purple plant and the other water sprites in here, so you have more color, color uh, cover. They come out more, they come more cover for the fry when they have them. I have no idea where the Cory cat is, though. I want to move him into the 29 gallon because he's not happy in here. I know that. He's alone and he's in grapple, which is the two worst things for Corys. At least get two Corys. I had a pair of Corys before. One died, one survived. I got him a new friend. Now they're happy as can be. Or three new friends, actually. I think about getting some more. So, uh, let me show you a quick thing. This is an Aquion starter kit the Aquion filter, Aquion. Light. I got this like two years ago. Uh, let me take out this light because most kits come with regular fluorescent bulbs. Oh, it's bright. Regular fluorescent bulbs, and uh, this is what shocked me about this is that fluorescent bulbs are not the best. They're better than LEDs and comp and uh, incandescent. But they're not the best for plants. But what shocked me is that I figured out why all the plants do better in this tank. One, they have gravel, which lets more crap get into them, into their roots. But I don't like gravel that much anymore. I like sand. It looks cooler. So, uh, but, uh, let me turn that off. And the light. I always thought it was a regular fluorescent. Or, at first I didn't really care, but then I read about lights and stuff, and then I thought it was a regular fluorescent. So, what's that? Let me unscrew this. Ah, that's really hot. So, uh, I'll probably bad for it. Uh, but then I looked at this light more carefully, and I saw it was actually an 8,000K. 15 watt T8, T8, which is the second one of the best lights for aquarium plants, other than T5 metal highlights, halites and stuff. But um, they were the best before the other stuff came out, and the cheapest, or not the cheapest, but the cheapest best and the best. And it's 8,000 K. When you have plants, you went 5,000 K through eight through 10,000 K. Uh, and this is an 8,000K, because regular sunlight is 6,500 approximately, with, uh, Kelvin, which is what K stands for. So, uh, that's why all my plants do better in here. And that's why my sword was growing out of control. And I figured out why that sword was doing so bad. It's because the shock of water change, or the water differences, chemistry-wise, was such a shock that it had to sleeves and regrow them. So, there's a little thing on the lights. Uh, LEDs 
unless they are special LEDs like uh, Amano uses and uh, a few other people use special LEDs that are specifically made for plants and they have like 6,500K or something. Those are extremely expensive and totally not worth it. Don't get them. I mean, the blue is okay. The blue nighttime is okay for plants, but not as good as pink and red hues are. And they're actually a lot better for coral. I don't even know why people even buy them. They're crap for plants. So, uh, that's it. See you.